Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about driving the feature, modeling microgrids and frequency regulations with vehicle to grid support from electric vehicles. In this example we are going to see a microgrid system is being modeled with the support of electric vehicles through vehicle to grid technology. The microgrid consists of a synchronous generator and two groups of electric vehicle batteries. Each group represents 20 electric vehicles connected to the grid. Small introduction about microgrid with electric vehicles. In this example, the grid frequency is set to operate within the range of 0 0.999 to 1.001 per unit. The battery pack, there, is a, there are two blocks at there. The battery G2B block, grid 2 vehicle block represents electric vehicles uh, with a state of charge of uh, below 80% which are continuously charged. On the other hand, the battery V2G, the second block. We have vehicle to grid block represents EVs with an state of charge above 90% that can provide vehicle to grid support during peak demand periods in the grid. These are the basic concept of this example. At the start of the simulation, two batteries are charged and drawing power from the grid. Their state of charge values increase from an initial level of 70% and 98% respectively. After the simulation starts, after 10 seconds, a 1 megawatts load is connected to the grid. What happened? You can see causing the grid frequency to drop below 0 .0, 0 0.99 per unit. In this response, the battery block, that is a V2G block, start discharging and supplies power to the grid. This action plays uh, help to raise the grid frequency back to the preset range of 0 0.999 to 1.00 per unit. This is our objective of this example. Let us see. Then, after 30 seconds, a 2 megawatts load is disconnected from the grid causing the grid frequency is to rise about 1.00 per unit. In this scenario, the, the first block that is a battery V2G block switches back to its charging status and the excess power helps lower the grid frequency back to the desired range. Meanwhile, the another block that is a grid to, be a grid to vehicle block continuously charging during the entire simulation as its state of charge remains below 80%. This is a simulating model for this electric vehicle to grid. That is a uh, modeling of microgrid with electric vehicles with this vehicle to grid technology. Here they are, you can see uh, there are two types of transformers. There, there are two mega two uh, MVA, a 13.8 kilowatts and 208 volt. Then there is a VSC, the source voltage source converter. There are average values of VSC one and VSC two. This is a synchronous machine round rotor. These are the um, AVR and exciter. These are the, some control blocks are there by, by using how to control this. These are the scopes blocks. Let us see the detailed model, simulating model of this microgrid with electric vehicle with uh, vehicle to grid technology. Here there are three more uh, fidelity levels are there. One is low level and medium level and high level. Here you can see you can set this low and low, medium and high level. Uh, you, you need to set modify the uh, simulating block here. In this simulating block, in this context, the concept of modeling different levels of details using variant controls refers to the ability to represent different levels of complexity or fidelity within a simulation model. This uh, approach allows for flexibility in choosing the appropriate level of uh, detail based on specific simulation requirements or goals. Here there are two uh, script files are there. In this script file, first to first file is an important one. Uh, the name, name of the script is called WE Microgrid Electric Vehicles VTG Data. This M file provides uh, in this example to introduce us a variant controls for voltage source converter and converter controller. These controls are implemented using Simulink. This is a variant objects. What is the use of variant objects is which enables the selection of a different configuration based on predefined conditions. There are two, uh, already we discussed, two specific variant objects are defined in the file. First one is average value voltage source converter and switching voltage source converter. Average value VSC and switching VSC. These two variants are associated with the average value and the switching voltage source converter respectively. Depending on the simulation needs, either the average value converter or switching converter can be selected. This is our purpose. Then next one, controller time mode. What is the time mode? Controller time mode and uh, controller frequency and time mode. Both frequency and time modes you can set. These variants are used to determine the simulation mode, either time or frequency and time. The controller can be configured to operate in either time mode or frequency and time mode. 
in this example well, there are two time variant objects are there the two variant objects are average value vac switching vac and controller time mode and controller frequency mode another one is fidelity here there are three levels of fidelity available low medium and high low, low means this level of fidelity runs the simulation in frequency and time mode it employs an average value voltage source converter model with a sample time of 0.1 second the second fidelity level is medium level then this level it is in and the simulation runs in time mode it uses an average value voltage source converter model with a sample of 200 microseconds then um, uh, third level that is high, high fidelity level this level of uh, fidelity runs the simulation in, in time mode it utilizes ideal power electronic devices to model the converter for achieving the uh, higher accuracy the sample time for this level is 2 microseconds the second vm file called w microgrid uh, we can do variant control which a control script file provides the flexibility to change the level of fidelity by modifying the associated variables by adjusting the sample time and simulation time simulation mode you can configure the model to match the desired level of uh, detail accuracy for your specific uh, simulation needs after simulation we, we, uh, we you get this plot Uh, there is a AC grid frequency, active active power to ba battery branches and battery block. It is a, a set of charge of uh, grid to vehicle and vehicle to grid. This graph represent uh, the AC grid frequency, the active power transmitted to the two battery branches and the set of charge of the batteries in low level fidelity. We can set low, medium, and high three types of uh, modes. We can set for uh, modifying the fidelity. After that. Uh, by using the scope there are two three scopes are available for this model simulic model first one is scope one it represents a g2v block that is a dc link voltage and charging current and a state of charge for the three different uh, variants uh, frequency regulations and battery block uh, charging current and voltage dc link voltage the first one is grid to vehicle grid to vehicle the second one is vehicle to grid battery block the third one is AC grid frequency and also the reactive power, active and reactive power uh, for both uh, grid to vehicle block and vehicle to grid block. Again, uh, this mode is set, set for this. Uh, this graph is obtained uh, with the level of medium medium fidelity. The graph represent uh, it illustrates the AC grid frequency, the active power transmitted to two battery battery branches and the set of charges uh, for, uh, for in this medium level of fidelity. Then next one, this uh, this graph you can apply, you can obtain it from uh, interactive Simlink Explorer, Sim Simscape Explorer. Here we can get the battery block each and every every block you can see this a VTG block block. This blocks models EVs with a state of charge higher than 90% that provides VTG support during periods of peak demands in the grid. The battery uh, block that is a VTG block starts to discharge. You can see. Start to discharge the supply power to the grid. As a result, the grid frequency increases to the preset range. What we said is 0.99, approximately 1.00 point per unit. After 30 seconds, you can see after 30 seconds, the uh, um, the disconnection from the grid, grid of 2 megawatt the megawatts load causes the grid frequency to rise above 1.00 per unit. This block. Then let let us see the G2V block. This is a G2V block output. This is is also obtained from Simscape Result Explorer. In this example, the battery G2V block model series with a state of charge less than 80%. The battery block is being charged during the simulation since its state of charge is less than 80%. These are the some of the research paper. Most of our uh, subscribers are asking what are the examples, what are the projects we uh, demonstrated means they have they need to know about the research purpose. Here, some more research purpose related related to the topic of microgrid with electric vehicles support that we can that we may we may find helpful. This is the first one is um, Haji Miraha and uh, M. Pauti Firuzabad et al. Uh, introduces a comprehensive compre comprehensive study of electric vehicle aggregators in VTG micro microgrids. The same things we they are the same thing also. Oliver et al. They are also uh, explained about the control strategy for electric vehicles integration into 
microgrids considering this vehicle to grid technology. The same thing for optimal scheduling and also uh, the concept of benefits challenging integrating electric vehicles in uh, distributed energy resources and also uh, finally the a review a review paper has uh, shown in demand response demand response in smart grids with electric vehicle loads. Okay, let us see the model. These are a model you can see. Uh, microgrid the simulink model it shows here already we discussed with this second is machine rotor and also it has some what does what, what type of loads you can uh, set here these are three megawatts load two megawatts load and one megawatts load based on this based on our simulation mode set you can set with one mega one megawatts load and two megawatts and you can also set with 13 up to 13 megawatts load okay here uh, it is selected by by using this switch here there are uh, two type of transmitter transformers are used here one is a 2 mva another one is 2 mva with 13.8 kilo volt you can set this block parameter block you can see uh, the next one is an important one average value vsc for both for there are two types of average value vsc so voltage source converter is there employed here well, one is switching and another one is average value here uh, we are setting with average value if you if you need uh, you can set with switching vsc also the same thing, the same thing for uh, another another one. The average values here you can select this by using this switch. Okay, now these are the two types of controllers are there: power regulation and converter control. In this power regulation, converter controller one and converter converter controller two is there. The power regulation uh, is a state of charge calculations. Um, in this in this in this block we used to for state of charge calculation. And the converter controller here also you can uh, you can select um, time mode and frequency and time mode. Here also two more options are there for controlling the uh, grid. Here also uh, PWM training waveform generator uh, from for both three phase, three phase and two le two levels. Here also uh, the gate signal generator blocks are there. And uh, finally the scopes are showing. The uh, first one is uh, vehicle to, uh, grid to vehicle scope. This is a scope one, and second one is a vehicle to grid scope three, and the, the, the third one is battery block. There is a DC link voltage and charging current and battery state of charge. These are the uh, scopes we can get this one here uh, by by using this uh, interactive code. There is a plot responses. We can see the uh, script two types of scripts. That is a uh, microgrid electric vehicles plots. Result this plot uh, below shows the AC grid frequency and active power that flows to uh, two battery branches and the state of charge of batteries in this one. After running this one, we can get the start the simulation. You can see the scopes. You can uh, see this one. There are two three types of scopes are available here uh, for. Um, Showing, showing the um, vehicle to grid block and um, yeah, grid to vehicle battery block. You know, you can see the our scopes. Yeah, uh, the scopes are uh, showing for the scope one. There is a battery a G2V block, and the second one is a V2G block, and third one is. Um, DC link voltage block. The first one, uh, sc uh, scope one, scope two, scope three. We are uh, seeing the now. Here, scope one and uh, scope two. You uh, can see. Now, scope three also. We need to get this one. Here. Uh, the scope 3 block there is a AC grid frequency so uh, in these three types of scopes you can uh, understand the regulation and control of this V2G technology ok now uh, you can get getting the better view the first block is my first scope is shown here battery grid to vehicle of DC link voltage and charging current and finally the battery state of charge for this one here the next one is a scope 2 
in the scope to battery to battery block of vehicle degree technology there is a dc ring voltage charging current and state of charge here uh, almost you maintain the 80 percent we are maintained here the, the scope 3 uh, shows ac grid frequency that is active and reactive power and active and reactive power in two blocks gtv blocks and vtg blocks here also now the outputs coming from uh, the script file what you uh, seen here there is a ac grid frequency active power to uh, on battery, two battery branches that is called GTV and VTG branches and a state of charge for GTV block and VTG block. The same way you can get by using this in interactive explorer. Here you can also set this model where um, uh, modify the model parameters also by using this script file where uh, first uh, modify the level of fertility low, me medium and high. If you want, if you double click on that, it is operated in low fertility mode. If, uh, here you double click on that means medium level, medium level of fertility is applied to the Simulink model. This one, the high, high level of fertility applied to this Simulink model. But for understanding purpose, you set, set with low, medium and high, high uh, fertility model, you can choose, choose your Simulink, uh, Simulink uh, support. Here another one is uh, interactive uh, Simulink Simscape Result Explorer. In this block, we can see a block by block output for both starting from uh, ending and that is a uh, so sources to destination load side. Okay, here in this left hand side pan, your panel, you can uh, select the signal and in this uh, right hand side, you can uh, see this plot. Here AVR and Exciter block. In this AVR and Exciter blocks, you can see uh, if and I click on that here we will get this output in the right hand side okay in this way you can um, see all the things there is a uh, in, at the time of presentation you can see the battery to uh, grid to voltage block in this in this block you can see all the all the uh, battery blocks that is a g2 block n block and the multiplier block and the battery voltage alpha beta values power dissipated and all the things you can get for this, uh, for clicking this model, in this model block, there is a battery GTV block, you can get this type of output. The next one is a vehicle to grid block. In this block also, you can see the same thing available for this one, they will change these values here. The same same for electrical reference sensing, VDC1, VDC2 and terminal voltage, what is a source, for, uh, voltage source converter, average values, average value VSC. Okay, wait for some time to respond. Here, average value VAC block output. There is a source converter output. In this way, you can analyze all the all the uh, blocks in this power dissipated and electrical reference. The same way, same one for uh, this uh, VAC CF. There is a power dissipated one. In this manner, we can get more number of plots to analyze the Simlink model that is a microgrid modeling with VTG support. I hope you and, um, enjoy this video. If you are new, new comer of my channel, means kindly subscribe my channel. Please like, share, and uh, give uh, give your worthy comments on my YouTube channel videos uh, in, um, in this description box. This model uh, will be available in my youtube channel description box kindly support support my channel and also kindly use use it for research purpose thanks for watching thank you